thought I'd start somewhere new today. Caerphilly Castle, second largest in Europe. Caerphilly Town. Hmm. Grex is open. And Costa is just along there. Anyway, Saturday, 15th October 2016. Just past 7 o'clock British summer time. <laughs> in the morning, hashtag ITM. Here's the plan. I'm Malcolm Apple to start, and the Wellspoons Beer Festival have only had two of the rails so far, and they were okay, but they were a bit ordinary. Then a jump on the train, go down to Cardiff, and doing tackle, so they do a couple of reviews on Periscope. And then, I'm not sure, a small bar on the gravity station, maybe just the gravity station. I love the copper table. I might name this video the copper table. I think I might have already done that. And as Arthur Daly would say, cut this crap out, get onto the beer. Beer first. Well, one or two, maybe three. Gonna start with a bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Lots of carpet for Mr. Manning. And the big news today is O2 are finally bringing 4G to bed with us. I'm so glad I left O2. Three bad mixture of 3 and 4G. Anyway, back onto the beer festival. Ninka oh god, I've forgotten what it's called. Ninkazi Special Bitter. Uh, bear with me, I'll be back and back. It is Ninkazi Special Bitter by Ninkazi Brewing of somewhere in the Oregon, Eugene, Oregon. Brewed in the UK by Banks in the Midlands. 5.8% alcohol by volume. 50p off with my camera voucher. That'll cause issues. Oof. Tasty alcohol in that one. A lightly bittered finish, which goes on. For quarter past eight in the morning, that's a wake up call. Oh, it's very bitter finish, I like it. B plus on a bit, I think. Yeah. Number two, and I've gone on to halves. This is Hope and Glory by Roosters. 4.2%. Can't be a free range beer. Marketing talk. Anyway, <coughs> carpet for Mr. Manning. Hmm, nice aroma. Although I don't know because my nose is rubbish again. A little thin. But gently fruity, maybe a touch of spice tingly on the tongue after. Nice finish, B+. Plus. Number three, from Banks, Gold Ingot. I'm not sure if it's 24 karat Gold Ingot, but it's Gold Ingot. 4.3% alcohol by volume. <coughs> and it is golden in colour. Not much of an aroma. A little bit spicy. Mm. It's got like that citrusy lemon finish. And I'm now getting the spice again. I like that. B plus. Time for brunch. Pack of chips. The Cambrian Hotel. The Cambrian Tap. Nice wall, Mr. Manning. Not laminate, real wood, real tiles. Real ale? Uh, no. Okay, this is an 11A from the Green Duck Beer Co. Dazzling Chocolate Stout. 4.8% alcohol by volume, and as you can probably see, I haven't tried it yet. Mmm. 
more roasted notes and chocolate so far. A little thin. Mm. Certainly a huge finish. Roasted, slightly chocolatey. Mm. Works really well. I'm thinking B plus in a bit because of the finish. Excellent. Mexican. Death becomes you. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Cerveza de los Mutos. Uh, I think it's owned by conglomerate actually. So 5.5%, a little bit cold at the moment. Mmm, mountain red oil. Can smell that malt. Mmm, really malty. I'm getting the yeast as well. Maybe a touch of spice. Not what I'd expect from Mexico. B plus in a bit. 3.25 on the untapped scale. Definitely unusual. This is Woman B Street. And this is where I'm going. I know what I want. Probably a takedown. But uh, you know, Bob Marley, whatever. Drinking hyper local. This is Welcome to Woman B Street by Beard Face and Bynes. City Arms and the guy who owns the Moon Club, I think. It's a super pale ale, 5% alcohol by volume. Naturally cloudy. Cloudy, I'm saying, big tone. Mr. Manning, real wood, real copper. Oh, lovely smell of hops. Oh, super lemony. And I think that's going to get even better as it warms up a touch. Well, when I say warmed, I mean. Oh, that is A minus. That is really, really, really good. And only available as far as I'm aware here at the moment. Gravity Station Cardiff, Woman B Street. As in the name. I didn't realise until I read the bottle. This is a collab. There is a mention of Hop Cup. That's the chips talking. Hop Craft Gaza on here. This is, I'd hazard the guest to say, a stout. Collab between the wine brewery, Miss Sue Haywood, <coughs> and um, Hopcraft Gaza on Twitter. Four percent alcohol by volume, and it's called Drawn to the Deep End. Another thing, <laughs> sadly bottle conditioned. No, I didn't seem to raise much sediment, so that's good. Lovely aroma. A little thin, but nice. Goes down well. Not much in the way of a finish, but I don't know if you should use the word refreshing with a stout, but it was working for me. B plus in a bit. 3.25 on untapped. This is by Dukes. I'll say that again, Dukes. Swedish craft beer. Orange haze, 6.4% alcohol by volume. And I have to admit, it does taste of oranges. As far as India pale ales go, oranges? Okay, I'm gonna be careful here. Slight spillage. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, B++? <coughs> yes, B++, this is really good and it's quite cold at the moment, I think it's going to get better. This is really good.